I recorded the show yesterday. The beginning of the video is messed up, so I don't know. Um, but I recorded the show yesterday. And um, you're just not going to hear the intro, see the intro. But I, I don't know what happened. This this is a different phone. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and a thumbs up on this show. Enjoy this show and I'll have another one for you all later this week. <laughs> Hello. How are you? How are you? <sighs> Look, my grandma got, um, she got like a little cute, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's, it's the phone, the hold the phone something. My grandma got like three phones. So my phone went out. Oh my god. Oh god. <clears throat> Sister Patterson, do you know who the Jones is? The Jones. Do you know who the Jones is? Do you know who the Jones is? No, I'm not talking about that that man who ain't gonna never marry that woman. How do you be with a man so long? But you know what? Everyone doesn't want to get married. Like, you know, so I, I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Because if I've been with you for 20 years, oh, oh, no, you're going to marry me. I mean, you are me and I is you. So you need to put a ring on this bull. I'm sorry, I don't know how some of you hoes be out there with these men for 20, 30 years and you ain't his wife. And I'm not talking about no hood, oh, that's wifey. No, honey, because that's what happened with DMX wife. Well, his street wife, DMX had died and this woman thinks she's going to get all this stuff. And baby, we don't, we don't see nothing on paper. We, did you two get married? Oh, no, I was his wifey. You was his wifey, honey. Are you his wife? I'm not talking about that street shit. We, uh, anyway, what are we talking about? I don't know. Hello, everyone. Oh, Miss Jones. Miss Jones, I want to shout out to Miss Jones. If you don't know who Miss Jones is, okay, you're a little too young for the show, honey. But Miss Jones, where I want to be, boy, she's coming back to New York Radio to do what she was supposed to do. Jonesy in the morning has joined 94.7 the block oh excuse me the block let me tell you something the block y'all need to fix your radio because it, that station is a little static -y. when i put that station on it's like i have to move a couple of spots to get a good reception you always need to fix your antenna okay if you gonna have the queen miss jones on there fix your radio bitch because when i turn on 105 which is barely I barely listen. I don't listen to nobody on 105.1. I just put that on late night when my DLs come through. And I need to have some music that I'm still hip. So I put that station on. But, you know, when I put 105 on and when I put my Lenny Green, because you know I love my Lenny Green on WBLS. Them stations is nice. It's, it's clear. I put on 94.7 a block. That station is static. So anyway, shout out to Miss Jones. As you know, I really don't listen to a lot of... Radio, like I don't listen to the Breakfast Club. I don't listen to them. That I mean, shout out to shout out to the uh, Breakfast Club, Radio One Hundred Five. But it don't do nothing for me. Do something for you. Don't do nothing for me. There's only a few radio personalities that kept my attention. Of course, it was Miss Wendy Williams, who we gonna talk about in a second. What he talk about? She married. Married Wendy, who you married to, bro? We to, oh, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's talk, y'all. Let's talk. I'm feeling good. So we're going to talk about Wendy in a second. Talk about she married. And who else? Miss Jones and Cherry Martinez, who me and her work, we, you know, I worked for her like a couple of weeks, days. I don't know. Me and Cherry used to get a little bit of money together. Not a lot, you know. Um, and that's it. Who else? Miss Jones, Cherry, Wendy. 
And that the rest of these personalities, they are boring, bitch. They don't keep my attention. So I'm glad to have Miss Jones back to New York radio. All right, listen to me. I just came from my grandma house. Um. Um, because I was going to get my phone fixed. Right. Then they sent me this bill. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. I gotta get my life together. They sent me this bill. So it was either get the phone fixed or pay the bill. So why would you get your phone fixed and your, your phone is off? So of course I had to pay a little bit of the bill. And now yesterday I'm on the phone and the phone just went black. The phone screen is just black and I was pressing stuff off. I had a prayer. I was like, fix my phone. My phone was gone. So I had to go to my grandma house, get a new phone. I had to take out the SIM card and put it in this phone. I got to find somebody to get this phone fixed. I'm so sick of this shit. So tonight I got to do a little, some strange things. Hopefully old man didn't fall asleep. By the time I finish with the show, he's going to be asleep. I need to start just like maybe getting a little earlier because these men, these men are old. They they in bed by ten o'clock. I'm thinking the freaks supposed what they got freaks come out at night. Not these old men. These freaks just these, these freaks asleep by ten p.m. And these old men. Hopefully he's still up because I need to make a little make a little change, honey. Do some strange things. No, do what is it? Do some strange. Oh, bitch, I gotta make some change. So, listen to me. Um, And then next week, I'm supposed to start a little piece of a job. Nothing big. A little piece of a job. Nothing special. Nothing special. A like, little, little piece of a job. A little something. A little two, two, three days a week. Help me through this situation. Oh, my God. Anyway, how's everyone? Um, How's everyone doing? The cash app is below. Look on the show. I can use some funds right now to fix this phone, bitch. Send a PayPal or a cash app. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Who's this? How's everyone? Um, what a week. I the time is flying. It's almost September. Um, we are currently in Leo season. Can't wait till this is done. You're tired hoes. Um, what a week I had. It's been quite a week. Um, I had to curse out a couple of tired hoes. And I, 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 I ignore people. I, I am the queen of ignoring. But this day, uh, this little dude, little dude, I don't know, little boy, he called me at the wrong moment. I was hot and I, I don't like coming out during the daytime because I hate crowds. I really can't stand people. But I had to go out to get something. I just had an attitude. So I'm walking. And, and this is, oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk. So I'm walking. And be clear, Bimbo's been gay. Bimbo's been gay. I've been, bitch, I've been wearing leggings since 2000 and I don't know. You bitches know I've been wearing leggings. You know I've been gay since the day I came out. 1999, 2000, bitch. I ain't never how. I mean, you ain't got to tell people you gay, but I guess from the way I dress and I walk, you're going to, bitch, I ain't never been hitting in the motherfucking closets. So it's two different stories. This one, this dude, I ignored because you got to just know these people are stupid. Don't argue with these. You can't argue with fools. Don't argue with fools. So I tried to, I, I didn't do it. So this dude, I'm about to, I'm about to tell you about these uh, two little boys, but this fool walk in and I, I told you I keep my headphones in, but um, they're like not in, like they're in, but it's just, just for people. Like, I just don't want to talk to nobody. So I keep my headphones in. So people think I'm listening to music, but I'm really not. Maybe, like, I'm really not most of the time. Anyway, so I'm walking and God, he goes, yo, I don't know why these gay dudes is in my path. Like, he's talking to himself, but he's making, like, he's doing it where he want me to hear it. He's like, I'm, I don't know why these gay dudes is in my path. And then he goes, oh, Joe Biden made it all right for them be, to be outside. I, 
I said, Bimbo, ignore this fool. He's not talking to you. He's talking about you. There's a difference. Motherfuckers talk all that bati boy and all that dumb shit these stupid men say. They screaming. They, they ain't talking. They talking about you. Or they, they, they not. I ignored it, basically. He, so he gets in the street and he, oh, he goes, oh, they, these, these gay dudes want to come outside. I wanted to say, bitch, you don't know me, ho, bitch. I've been outside. I've been gay. Been in my club. Like, I wanted to go in. You probably a big old, oh, I wanted to go. I said, shut. It's not worth it. Don't, don't give these stupid, they're stupid. And they're gay. And they DL. Ain't no straight man worried about no gay dude. I'm, I'm promise. He probably was in jail sucking dick, whatever the case. I said, I'm not going to give him my energy, you know? So I stayed, I stayed, I just kept walking, stayed quiet. And then he goes, I'm, I'm going to send Joe Biden a message soon or something. I, uh, <laughs> I said, these men are stupid. Like, this women, this is what you have to choose from. I feel sorry for you women. This is, this is, this is your men out here. So I ignored him. But I have my hand in the bag. If you want to get crazy, bitch, this screwdriver would have been in your eyeballs. Get crazy, go crazy, get crazy, go crazy. Anyway, whatever. He was stupid. Who deal that jail queen? He probably, you know, these men they end up in jail and prison because they stupid, stupid men. And then, so that was this week. Then the other week, I, like I said, I was walking and I, 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 I crossed the street and it's like the the dude. Little crusty, dirty. You know these. They come from other countries. They all dirty looking and crusty. When y'all bring your little dirty, crusty children to America, let them know people can be gay over here. Everyone's not in the closet in your countries over here. You can be gay. So little, do you know how they look? Little dusty, crusty, nasty children. They come out there as nasty people. Anyway, so I got to walk, and here he go. A oh, bakti boy, or whatever, whatever. Usually I ignore. Because they're talking about me. They're not talking to me. Gay people don't give your energy. Because when they do that, they want you. Ain't Like I say, ain't no real man paying attention to no gay dude. So, I told you all, I was fired up. I was fired up that day. And usually I know I never respond to I turned around. I said, I, I said, you want this. I said, you want this, Bati boy, don't you? You old dirty black. I went, when I tell you, I went in on that dude. He, sh I guess he, he thought I was going to stay quiet. And I said, look at all these pretty women on this block. You focus on me. I said, he gay, y'all. He gay. He, he, he focused on, he want this. He, why, he, why? The people, the girl was like, mm, yeah, you could tell. I was like, look, you got the pretty, you will focus on me, you little. So the, fr the little boy who was with him, the little dude was with him. He, he, he wasn't saying that was his friend. He was like, it was him. I said, look, your friend is gay. I said, a real man ain't focused on me. It, he's, he's gay. I said, you better watch him. He might want to play with your booty. The little boy turned. He looked so stupid. And shut up, baby. I, 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 I'm so glad. I wanted to go over there. And I was so fired up. I went in. I never in my life do that. I, I, I never respond to these stupid men. I never, ever. Like, I'm not that gay. Because you're not talking to me, but you're talking about me. There's a difference. So... The girl, the girl turned around. She said, "Damn!" I said, "Yeah." I said, "He's gay. That's all that is. He's over there focused on me. All these women on this block. But you want me, bitch? The cause is looking, bitch. I went in on that. I, I promise you, he won't. Dang again, saying that nonsense. That's like the only word them little stupid men know is "bakti boy." Bitch, do you know any other words? And bleach. I forgot bleach. Bleach and bakti boy. And what? More fire. I went in, baby. I was pissed off. And then when I went around the corner, I went to the pizza shop. So the girl, so when the two, when the two of the girls came in, they said, you not in here going off? I said, baby, that was not me. I'm minding my business. I'm not paying nobody no mind. Get them. It, 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 it's our fault. No, bitch. Get them. Stop these little stupid kids. Because you never know. You never know who you're going to run to. Y'all keep thinking gay men are weak. Gay men are not weak. Just because it's, it's not openly gay men who are weak. It's these men like that little stupid, them stupid dude. Those are the weak ones. Openly gay men are not weak, you idiots. I don't know who made up this thing about gay men are punks. Just because you... Suck a dick or get fucked. Like, this is why I don't associate with people. People are stupid. Really stupid. Like, really stupid. I don't associate with that bullshit. Especially these stupid men. Just stupid men. 
So anyway, um, so that was that. That was the two little stupid boys. And then, oh man, what else happened this week? I went to the city this week. I met another stupid dude. I said, why me? Why can't I just come out here and ch I always got to run into a nutcase? Always. So I'm standing there, you know, my spot. And I'm going to change it because it's like I've been saying this is like I've been having all these random people coming up to me now. No more. I'm going I have another spot. Nope. Um, so I'm standing there. So some dude come up to me. He's saying no more at first. He's like, hey, what's up? I was like, hi. He was like, he literally looked at the, he looked all right. Nice little body, muscles, whatever. But I, I was, I was not really into him like that. I mean, he wasn't ugly, but he was just, I was, he was like, you, he was like, are you with someone? I said, yes, I'm dating someone. He's like, oh, all right, sorry to bother you. I was like, it's so cool, da, da, da. So, no, we talked a little more. He said he, I don't know, he told me this, that, this, that, and there. But I wasn't interested. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. I just... Whatever. So he walked away. So I had a great wig on. A guy comes up to me. Am I you? He's just telling me. He was like, oh, the gray, the gray wig looks so cute on your head. I tried gray. We just talking normal stuff. You know, nothing. Because the dude was openly, you know, gay, gay. Why did this dude come over? Who, who, you know, the first one. Is this your man right here? I thought you said you were single, yo. How much he paying you? And this thing going off. Me and the dude is looking confused. Because first of all, we, we're standing here talking about wigs. I'm like, what? He's like, yo, get out of here. If you're not paying, get... Yo, this dude was just started going off. So this dude, I was like... I was like, bye, baby. I, like, we didn't know what was going on. So I'm not leaving. So this dude, whatever, started walking. Not because of him. We was really done talking. So he walks away. Um, he's like, I thought you said you were single. I said, who the fuck is you? I said, you need to calm down. You really need, like, I don't know what's your problem. You need to calm it down. He's like, I'm so sick of y'all, y'all trannies and y'all, y'all, uh, butch weed, not butch queens. What do you call us? Femme queens? I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't do houses. I don't do vogues. But I know I think a femme queen is a tranny. You femme queens that you could get anybody and I'm like, where is this coming from? Oh, you don't like my kind. You want them dudes right there. And this and that and this going off. And he start, he's starting with people. He's like, yo, you want this over here? Mind you, was a cutie coming out of the block. And looking at me, he goes over. Oh, you want this dude right here? You don't want... I said, oh my God. Why do I get the crazies? I, and I always get the... It never fails. Why can't I just get the nutcases? So anyway... He's doing all this da 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 going back and forth. So I said he was a Capricorn. I know he, he told me he was a Capricorn. And then, I mean, he was, like I said, he wasn't ugly. So he was just loud and not normal behavior. Clearly, something's off. So I said, I need some ice. Where can I get some ice from? So. He telling me to go to one of the stores. I knew where I could get ice from. It was just for him to get up the hell away from me. So I started walking and he started, I'm like, why are you following me? So I said, oh my God, dude, leave. So we walk in, so it's a guy in the corner. He goes to the guy, so this is what you want? This is what you want right here? And the guy is looking at him like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, yo, I smack you, dude, I smack you. The dude said, I wish you would. So the dude goes, not the, 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 the crazy dude goes into the store, come back outside and goes to the dude, can I get $2? The dude just said, you just threatened to smack me. Now you ask, I should beat your motherfucking ass. And I'm, I was like, please beat his ass, please. So the dude goes back in the store. I go down the train, I go down the train steps just to get away from him. I'm like, I need to leave the city alone. I can never come out here and just have a good time. I always get, I always attract craziness. Why is it I always like, I just could never enjoy myself. So when I walk back up the stairs, I look in the store, the dude is standing there arguing with people going off. So I went back to where I was at and I saw him walking up the block. I'm like, oh my God, I got rid of him. Thank God. So I needed a break. I sat down. I'm sitting in front of this store looking crazy. I didn't care. I bitch, I was over it. 
this car that's going by. What's up, miss? And that, I'm just like, leave me alone. So I'm sitting there for a good 20, 30 minutes, minding my business. While I look up, I felt somebody like over me. It was the dude. I said, oh my God. He had a drink in his hand. He's like, wait, wait, you went, baby. I said, and something told me to go up the block. I, I, it was, we talked for like, we didn't talk. He was talking for 10 minutes. I said, what do you want? I said, what do you want? He's like, I just want to suck your dick. I said, what? He said, I just want to suck your dick. Like I said, he wasn't ugly. He was just that whole, it was just, I said, look, if I let you suck my dick, you gonna leave me alone? You ain't gonna never bother me no more if I let you do that. He said, are you gonna let me? I said, meet me around the corner. So I go around the corner and he was standing there somewhere. I said, get on your knees. He got on his knees. I pulled Dante out. I put a condom on Dante and I put it in his mouth. I let him suck for about four minutes. And he was like losing his mind. And I thought, I, I, I didn't, nothing happened. I just, and I pulled, I said, look, don't ever in your life talk to me again. Don't. Like I started getting like really aggressive. Don't. If you, if you ever talk to me ever again, I'm going to call the cops on you. If you ever see me out here again. He's like, oh, baby, talk to me. I said, I'm leaving. I put my pants, I, I took the condom off, threw it in his face, put my shorts up and walked right around the corner. I didn't see the dude for the rest of the night. <laughs> so that was that. It's like three o'clock now, close to three. I'm over it. I'm tired. That dude annoyed the hell out of me. I missed out on some good dudes because this crazy dude. Like I said, he was not ugly. He had a nice body. He was just off. But he was cute. Anyway, so I started walking to the train. So it was 17 minutes for the two train to take me to where I live at, uptown in the Bronx. So I'm standing there. Oh, God. This is when I want to slap myself. I want to slap myself. I'm standing there and I'm waiting for the train. This fine, 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 fine dude walks by. Nice curly hair, tattooed. Oh, oh. He looked like he could be black, Pan Panamanian, Spanish, all in one. Just fine muscles just fine he was a little shorter than me so he walks by he's like what's up sexy and he walks down the train steps so i thought he was gonna wait but i didn't see him waiting so i had said maybe if he wanted me he would have came back up so as i'm getting closer to the train so son told me to go downstairs so me and b had like six minutes of the train left the train comes so I get downstairs and my normal guy who's down there the guy there's a guy at this at the 23rd street he don't care about nothing he sleeps all night all you gotta do is walk in walk right through the thing he don't care but it was a different guy there so the dude who just walked by me and said what's up sex he was standing there I said oops so I went and I got a metro car because my friend was in there so I swiped so that I was going in the sexy dude with the oh he's so fine oh anyway so he walks all the way to the end. So I walk to the end and I like brushed him. He's like, what's up, sexy? And I was like, what's up with you? And we started talking, whatever. So he's like, where you going? I was like, I'm going, you know, I'm going to town. He's like, you coming to my house, whatever? I'm like, where do you live? He's like, I gotta get off at 149th Street and take the four train to Burnside. I'm not doing all that, I'm going to 241st. But I said, you're not really a freak. He said, what you talking about? I was like, pull your thing out right here. I was like, pull it out. So he's like, people are there. I was like, move over. So he moved over and he pulled that sausage out. Oh my God. He was like, what's wrong? I was just like, I was really messing around. I was like, Ugh. So 
I was like, I was like, are you really a freak? And he's like, I was like, let me suck it now. He's like, cause I said, I don't give about the screwing people, I care about them. So I was like, so he he started walking more like to the back. So we went next to some thing in the back, and I started I started marching, and he was like really scared, like people was coming. So he uh he went like if you ever ride the like two train like any train in New York City, once you get to the end, it tells you do not enter. Like that's when it's going into like the tunnel tunnel. He goes inside that thing. I'm like, oh my god, what are we doing here? So I said, screw it. So I went next to the dude. We walk in on the wall. He's trying to find. I got, I think he worked for the MTA because who would notice? He's he's like, it's a hole down there. Baby, I'm not walking all the way down there. It's what are you so scared for? So anyway, the train is coming. The two trains coming now. Literally, I would have to stand against the wall like this. So the train went hit. I saw you crazy. He's like, come on. I said, no, I'm getting on the train. So as the train is, I ran back. But I'm not no MTA worker. No, no, no. He really wanted me to stand against the wall while the train goes past us. So I get back on the platform, the regular platform. And I go into the last train cart. And he jumps in. I said, oh, my God. I mean, I wanted him to jump in. So he jumps in. So it's like two other dudes on the train. And he said, you know how they got to do it. They got to be far away from you. They don't want people to know that they're, you know, they're with you. I'm glad he didn't was sitting next to me. Anyway, so he sits over there. I sit at the end. So we ride it, and these two other cute boys get on. I'm like, what is this, the night or the cuties? But I don't stare at people, like, unless I know they're really, like, staring at me. And plus, when people are together, I don't stare. But I kept seeing the little cute one. Not the one who was with me. It was another one. It was two of them. <sighs> the first one got off at, like, 110th Street. And then the second one, he was so cute. Corn Rose. He, ooh, he got off at, I wanted to get off at 125th Street, but I was with this dude. I went, I was supposed to go on 149th Street. The dude was looking in the mirror like, yo, get off. I wanted to get off at 125th Street, but at the same time, I was tired. My wig was stinking. I was over it, bitch. So, what happened? I was just staring. I'm like, damn. Never miss, miss opportunity. He was fine. So he gets off at 125th Street. And as the train is going, he's looking at my car. I'm like, my baby. This dude over here is kind of like sleep. So 149th Street is coming up. And I'm like, do I really want to get off this train? Or oh, I don't want to go home. I really want this to go home. Even though I wanted to do some things with both of them. Dude, I, ooh, I was hoping that dude was going to get, like, continue to ride all the way. But he got to get off at 125th Street. So anyway, so 149th Street comes. This dude gets up to get off, and I'm looking down, and he's standing there, like, near the train, though. He's not making it obvious, but he's like, yo, you getting off? Like, because he, he with them, the other dudes at the MC, so stand clear of the closing doors, and he puts his foot there, and I'm looking like... Like I wanted to get off, but I was so tired. You all, it was late. It was like four, four o'clock. Now I just wanted to get home, and I hate being outside during the day. I hate attention. Everybody staring at you, and you know how I dress when I'm as a drag. So anyway, I was like, "Bye, baby." Close the doors, and I went home, and I started riding up, to, and I was so mad. And then, as I'm riding, I'm in the train car because some other two dudes got off. I think they was big old queens. They got off a little bad. You know these basketball players? They be gay. Anyway, I can't stand. So anyway. I'm in a train car by myself, and I'm just mad at myself because I wanted to get off at 125th. I should have got off at 149th Street. No time I'm ever going to see that dude again. He was so fine, but if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. He was just so fine. Well, so anyway, I'm getting, I'm on the train, and I see two dudes come on that Gun Hill Road, and they got masks on and, 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 and hoodies. I'm like, er, it's like, 80 degrees outside. I mean, I know these little stupid kids is walking around with masks because they're stupid. But I'm just like, something don't look right here. So I seen, this is why you should not sleep on a train. I seen um, robbing people. Like, I didn't see it because I don't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. But the people, you know, they was doing stuff to stuff to people who were asleep. And I was the last one in the train car at the end. And I said, these fools come back and, mm -mm. so bitch, I went into my bag. I got my screwdriver. I stood up. And I started singing. You don't want no problems, problems. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus loves me. bitch. I started acting a fool in that trade car. I heard them come to the end and I heard one trade door open. I know the motherfuckers look like, what the fuck is this shit? I was back then, ooh, I, my, this was the screwdriver. Whoa, ooh, chicka, 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 ooh, ooh, chicka, chicka, ooh, I eat eight. I was doing everything. The motherfuckers did not come in that train car. You better go back up there and ride them motherfuckers, bitch, because I'm crazy. It's get crazy back here. Get crazy. You have to act crazy, bitch. I don't know what them hoes are trying to do. It's going to come back there and do to me. Mm -mm. I ain't got no money on me. I ain't got much, bitch. You ain't robbing no three, four dollars I have, bitch. Uh -uh. You better keep it moving. Oh, 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 ah, ooh. They didn't come back there. Sure enough, they was out there robbing people because I was one stop away from my stop. And the police came on. Police activity. Them two motherfuckers. Like I said, I didn't see nothing. But I saw. And I don't know what happened. And I get to 241st Street. And I went a different way because I was mad at myself. Because I should have went to 125th with that dude. Oh, I should have went to 149 because they was both fine. And no telling when I was going to see them again. Because it's like, you know, rare that I find really people that I really want, like, really bad. Like, I really want them both of them bad. Oh, well. So, that was my weekend. But, and however, I saw my one of my Puerto Rican poppy dudes. He came over this week. I haven't seen him in months. I, and then it was very, I thought he was, I thought he was dead or something. I was like, where you been? Because he hits me up at least every other week. He was locked up. He told me he was locked up for six months and this, now, and the third. And, and he first, thing, first, he said he didn't want nobody else to munch him. The first person he had to see was D. And D went to work. All right, so that was my crazy week. What are we supposed to do with that basketball player that, that's been found guilty in Russia and she got nine years? What are we supposed to do, bitch? I've been seeing people help her, go free her. What, bitch? That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do. What are we supposed to do? Go over to Russia? Can you free her? She's sorry. My thing is, they should just let the bitch come back. Just say, look, don't come back to Russia. Why are you out there for nine years? Just let the bitch come back to United States to say, look, bitch, don't you bring your gay ass back over here with your drugs. Why you, why you always want to keep her for nine years? Let, what's her name, Brittany? Let the bitch come back to the U.S. And this is why I tell you, this is why I don't want to go to no other, it's no other countries I want to visit. I don't need to see none holes from I you you hoes wanna always wanna travel. Bitch, I don't need to go for that. I'm gonna go get some water. I will go to Jones Beach or Atlantic City or somewhere. I don't need to go to a whole nother country to get some some beach. Go stay in a hotel. I bitch I could do that in the US. It's no places I want to visit. So hopefully they let the bitch come back to the United States, but right now she got nine years for some weed. Now What's this? Oh, shout out to Beyonce. Beyonce album is number one. Us every minute. Okay, that she's on the album. Okay, girl, we get it. You are on the album. All right, we get it. T.S. Madison, shout out to you. I mean, God, okay. Um, I still have not heard the album. I don't know when I'm going to hear it, but apparently a lot of you Beehive people have been listening because the album is number one. And shout out to Khalees. You all know Khalees made that big fuss about Beyonce stealing her song. Well, Beyonce responded and said, look, bitch, I did you a favor. I got you a little more extra coins in your pocket, but you want to talk all this shit? I will, will be removing you from my album, ho. So, uh, beyond, uh, Khalees, you won't be getting no coins from Beyonce. Like, I just felt like... Life, like, like, life is short, time is precious. If I don't need to call this bitch for, for, for clearance, what the fuck I need to call you for? To say hello, Kiki, girl, we ain't never been friends. What I'm calling you out. If you are not the person I need to call for clearance for this song, bitch, ain't no need for me to call you. I put you as a writer credit so you can get a little coin. Now you want to cause, let's take that bitch off my album. So, Khalees, you better back it up, bitch. Um, and what is this I'm hearing about this? 
a singer or rapper. What is he? I don't know what this, but he's always on the shade room. A little white skin, YK. Why? He's, I don't know what he is. He's just always on the shade room talking nonsense. His name is YK Osiris. He's from Atlanta, honey. No, right. Or Florida, somewhere. YK Osiris. And I was reading that he is a certain rap mogul boy toy. Oh, yes, honey. The, the rap mogul is dark skin. You know them dark skin, man. They like them little light skin bottoms, honey. They say he is. They said they was in Jamaica. And the rap mogul was there. And his boy toy was there. Who is allegedly YK Osiris. Or uh, Osiris, what's his name? I'm sorry, whatever. I mean, he's cute, little light skin, little dang bang. But I believe it. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go Google it, honey. Or one of you all can leave it in the comments. The rap mogul, oh child, please. <laughs> legendary, legendary. And the little boy, the YK kind of favors Cassie. All right. All right, what's the, all right, I got to go, you on. What's the thing about Wendy Williams? Oh, before we talk about Wendy. I wanted to talk about Irv Gotti. Ladies, don't you hate when you when you fuck a man and he go right and tell everybody like, damn, like these men are really turning into bitches. All these rappers, all they do is sit up on the YouTube and in in the uh podcast and just gossip like little girls. Like, can you leave something to the women and to the gay men, honey? Why are you straight men up here? I cannot stand men. So Irv Gotti, big ass. Talking about the song, one of Ashanti's songs, the song Happy. Irv Gotti, who was married at the time, he was married. He's sitting here bragging about this. He was married to Deb Lorenzo in 2002. And he got on that show with uh, Noriega, the, 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 ju the juice champs, the drink champs. Child, they just be up there gossip because you know what's the liquors in the system, them hoes gonna talk. So he said the song Happy came about because he just finished smashing Ashanti. He said this, so I can say it. I have to say no allegedly. He said it, bitch. And he said he was in his old funky ass was in the shower. And you know how you be in the shower and you be coming up with songs? Because I've come up with some good songs. I I came up with songs from Mary J. Blige in the shower that would never see the light, but them songs would have been hits. Keisha Cole, I came up with a few songs for you, K. Michelle. Because you, when you're in the shower, that's where the best music comes. I come up with some good songs. Anyway, the song Happy came about because he's in the shower. I'm so happy, baby. I don't care about all that. My thing is, why do you men always got to go run your mouth like bitches? Damn, Ashanti probably didn't want nobody to know that she let you smash and back it up. You may make me sick. And then Wendy Williams talking about she married. A lot of you all are saying Wendy's not married. Baby, if the woman says she's married, who are you to say she's not married? If the woman says she is married, Wendy is married, honey. If you've been a friend, if you've been a listener of Wendy's for four years, Wendy has always said she had friends in her head. Wendy has always said this. So in Wendy head, she is probably married to some cop. Some cop. She married to some NYC cop, honey. So who was you? Yeah, she called up Jason Lee and said, look, I am married. And all the people say, when you ain't married, look, if the bitch said she's married, she's married. So, Wendy, congratulations. I know you had a nice reception in your head. I know you wore a nice dress. Well, you don't like dresses. Wendy, how in your head did you two get married? Did it just, was it like how you and Kev got married? They just went to the uh, Department of Justice or the Justice of Peace and got married. She always told us the story. She said, uh, you know who married her? Uh, uh, what's the lady from Boomerang? She was in Boomerang, and she say, "You suck my you 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 stuff my coochie." The lady, um, Grace Jones. She always told us that Grace Jones' cousin or brother, somebody married her, her father. I don't know. Anyway, so if when Wendy Williams say she married, she is married, honey. You hoes better back it up. I hope you had a good time in your head, Wendy. 
Cause in my head, girl, I'm not married, but in my head, um, I don't know. I gotta figure out what goes on in my head. But again, shout out, congratulations to Wendy Williams. I hope this marriage works out for you and your head. <laughs> But I will say, in all seriousness, um, I hope Wendy's okay. I truly hope Wendy's okay. You know, because, all right, you guys, I got to go. I gave you hold a 40 minute show. I, wonder, I was only gonna do 20 minutes. This is why I love to come and talk to you. I'm feeling so much better. I'm about to, Clean up, make me some uh, chicken for tomorrow. Um, uh, I got to shave and see what this man is doing. Oh, God. If you all get, could help with something so I could get my phone back. What I miss my phone. This phone, I can't even screen record. You know you can screen. I can't even do no screen recording. My phone be back. I know my, my I know through the grace of God, my phone be back this week. All right, meatballs. I will talk to you all on the next show. Wonka Wonka and I hope you all enjoyed the show. Bye bye.